Yo, what is going on, guys? I'm bringing you episode number 15 of the Deacus Tree. We are hopping into this. It's been quite a while. I'm sorry. I told you guys I was going to give you more consistent episodes. The reason why this took a while is I wasn't home for about five days. I was in Pennsylvania. So, excuse me. But we are hopping in this game after starting off, off excuse my English, after starting off 3-0. and Of course, disconnecting, even though you get the win, still gives the goalie the loss. But we do get into this game and... Ryan Nugent Hopkins picks up the puck early in the first period. We're just cycling on this guy. He can't get the puck. We throw a pretty bad pass. I don't know how that actually stayed in, but we're going to make a nice little pass to Hopkins again, and we're going to score a pretty nice goal in the first five minutes of the game. He's going to have the goalie. He just tosses it back out. We're going to get a pretty lucky poke check, but, you know, good work right there, and then we're going to get a nice little play from ha uh, Huberdeau that does not go in. His player does not pick it up, and Huberdeau is going to pick up the rebound left there, and he's going to go back in and score to give us a 2-0 lead. So we're scoring goals, we're playing good defense, and we're basically just controlling this game as well as the other three. He controls his goalie for some reason, which I find I should definitely not do that in this game. And it's 17 shots to 4. We win 3-0. He quits. And we're going to decide to open some packs, see if we could pull anything to help our team, you know, adjust it a bit. We get an Edler and a Haglin. Edler's a really good card, and Haglin is probably good. I never used him this year, so I can't say anything. But 89 skating, he might make it to the team. But right now, I really like our lineups. We've been winning every game, so why change anything at the moment? So this next game we're going into, we have the 4-0 record. And we're going to hopefully decide to build on that and make it 5-0. and And this guy... I believe he had a pretty good team, but we're going up against a Blues fan, I believe, in the first 30 seconds of this game. We're going to get a 2 on 0 basically, and we're going to cash that in. Bobby Ryan, our captain, make it one nothing, and later on, only 5 minutes later, we're going to make it 2 nothing. and this is going to go fast, so maybe it's going to take a while, but the goals are going to come fast, and as you see, it's 3 nothing in the first 7 minutes of the game. Shorthanded goal for us. We got a nice little lucky play from us there, and that's going to go in as well. It is 4 nothing. And let's make it 5 nothing, 5 nothing. still the first period, pretty insane game, and I thought we were done, but no, we were not. We're going to make it 6 nothing. a nice little snipe right there from Ocposo, I believe, but it's 6 nothing. and I didn't even want to include all the goals, but some of them were nice, so I decided just to throw all the goals in, and you know, I know eventually we're going to be running into a goal drought, so looking back on this game, I'll be like, wow, where are these goals? So it's 8 nothing at this moment. This guy had a semi-good team, I believe. It wasn't terrible, I don't think. He had, like, Jordan Stahl, obviously, I think, on his third line. So, I think better than our team. But it was 9 nothing at that point. And we're going to get a nice little poke check. There's some good work right there. Throw it up and backhand, and we're going to score. <laughs> He's 10 nothing, double digits. I have not scored, I don't think, 10 goals in a long time, dating back to, like, NHL 14, probably the beginning of that year. So, it's 11 nothing, And let's just make it 12, I guess. We're going to just skate through everyone. And we're going to throw it right back and right in the back of the net. So well, that game finally ended 12 nothing. Going into this game, I knew I wasn't going to score 12 goals. This game was fairly laggy, sadly. And by fairly, I mean literally the whole game lagged. And I'm going to explain something later on in this video. But yes, this was extremely laggy. I've noticed some games have been laggy. And look at this goal. Like, I, I don't even understand how that went in. I understand it was laggy. And I understand why that guy shot it from there because... It was so hard to even get in the zone and make a pass, so he just finally got it, and he's like, you know what, I'm just shooting this, but why would Miller, I, I, it's no comment on that. So he scores a goal right there, and I was like, I'm going to lose this game, I can't do anything, and I just, uh, I couldn't get anything going, there was, I had so many shots, even though it wasn't that good, but Bobby Ryan is going to skate through one, two, three, and he's going to go through four and give it to Semin, and Semin is going to pot it home, make it a 1-1 tie. A pretty nice play from Bobby Ryan. He went through basically the whole team, and Semin was just wide open right there, and he's going to score on Harding to make it a 1-1 game. And at this moment, I felt so confident. The shots were extremely in my favor. I was outplaying this guy in every stretch of the meaning. He had nothing going besides that one play, so I knew I was going to win. I felt that I was going to win. There are some games you just don't feel like you're going to win. You can't get anything going, but... I finally did score, and I was like, you know what, I got this. Take a slap shot from Stahl, and Stahl somehow gets his goal. I don't understand how what even happened. I don't know if I hit it off the skate. I don't know if Stahl poked it in, but we do end up scoring there, and that is a 2-1 lead for us, so that is huge, and I knew at this point, I was like, we got this game, we won, but anyway, showing the, re the replay of the full game, look at that amazing save. Obviously, I don't think his glove would go through the ice in real life, but yeah, that was the end of that game. 
We win 2-1, and we've just been playing really, really good. It's finally nice to keep winning games. We didn't get many coins, but it's finally nice to keep winning games. Obviously, Division 10, 9, 8, wherever this is, but 27 shots to 8, 11 minutes of time and attack to 2. This guy just had nothing going on. Sadly, it was a close game, but it was still enjoyable for me, even though it was only a one goal. Obviously, the lag was definitely not really enjoyable, but I like close games, even if I'm dominating people, as long as I get the win. Even if I lose by a one goal game, it's fine, but if I get 29 shots to 5 and I lose, then I get pretty upset, but, you know... As long as the games are close and I'm doing pretty good and I'm happy and on top of that I'm winning games and I'm dominating all these people but again division 9 or 8 or whatever this is so not gonna be like oh I'm the best person in this game obviously I'm not. So we're now finally with our 5-0 record or 6-0 excuse me 6-0 record with a beautiful .38 goals against average and 96 save percentage 6-0 goalie Ryan Miller is going up against I don't know if I show the goalie but I think this is the last game. I believe this is the last game, so this will be the last game of this episode. This episode's probably a bit short or not too exciting, but this game is pretty good, I believe so. But we're finally using our home jerseys. I think we used them once this episode, maybe twice, but I like them a lot. They're really nice. And look at that nice little move right there, and we're going to score. Look at that. That was such a nice goal. I didn't even mean to do that, to be honest. I was trying to go backhand, but he did the Datsuk, and he makes it a one nothing lead for us little toe drag action going on there and he shoots it while he's doing the toe drag uh, animation and I didn't even mean to do that but it did work and I've never done that before but I'm gonna show you it and I'm not I did not even I thought I could have sworn I did but look at this nice little play another nice little play we're gonna cut in pretty bad pass on my part I don't know what I was doing there I had him beat on the right side but luckily I still get the puck back and I'm gonna make a little nice deke right there we're gonna pick up the puck it gets through my player, and we're going to pick it back up there, and boom, right there, he's wide open. I think that's Pommonville who scores a nice little goal. It is a 2-0 lead for us, and this guy was playing pretty good. Not going to lie, he's playing pretty good, but I think I definitely was playing better. And we got our whole fans right there, every team possible, which I don't really know if I like that too much. I don't, I think I, yeah, I have the Devils thing, so I was assuming it would be Devils fans, but I guess since I have this London Knights jersey that... It's just every fan in the world. So another nice little part there, a little back skate, and Hopkins will get the breakaway, go backhand, and we'll make it a 3-0 game for us. Six minutes left. This is looking like one of those 12-0 games, but the guy does end up leaving. I win 3-0. I guess this was not the last episode, so sorry about that, but we're going to move into this game. Nothing happens in the first period, but we get a nice little goal from Hopkins, similar to the first goal of this episode. Really sick little goal right there. We are on the power play and trying to just keep it in. It almost bounces out, so I just quickly get a shot with Fanoff. Not a good point. Not a good uh, shot or idea because he gets the breakaway. He scores a shorthanded goal. We have not allowed many goals. We have not allowed any shorthanded goals, so that one kind of stings. Make it a tie game. We're going to make a little nice play right there in backhand. What a sick goal by Bobby Ryan. He is honestly such an amazing player. I don't know if the captain card's good or just because he's the best player on this team right now, but honestly, he's so good. And then that goal is eh, not really good at all, but I guess we'll take it and make it a 3-1 game. And with one minute left in the third period, he dangles through my whole team, goes backhand and scores. A nice little play by him. Also bad defense by me, but that would be the end of this game, a 3-2 win for us. Pretty productive episode. We got a lot of wins. We opened, I think, two packs, one pack. Sorry, nothing else, but that's going to be the end of this episode. Another episode will be out very shortly. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and I will see you guys next time.